Churchill may die for an idea, but that idea will, after his death, incarnate itself in a thousand lives. Such were the beliefs and deeds of the dauntless freedom fighter Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, whose patriotism evokes great inspiration in the hearts of Indians. Very warm greetings to everyone present here on, the auspic on this auspicious occasion of the 126th birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Bose was born on January 23rd, 1897 to his mother Prabhavi Devi and father Janaki Nath Bose, who was a renowned lawyer and titled Rai Bahadur in Kattak, Odisha. The early recipient of an Anglo-centric education, Bose did his schooling at the Protestant European School in Kattak. He did his baccalaureate from the Presidency College. He was deeply influenced by the teachings of Swami Vivekananda and Ramakrishna after he studied their works at the age of 16. Bose's parents sent him to England to the University of Cambridge to prepare for the Indian Civil Service Examination. In 1920, he succeeded with distinction in the vital first exam, but demurred at taking the final level exam. In April 1921, after hearing of the nationalist turmoil in India, he resigned his candidacy and hurried back. On returning to India, Bose joined the nationalist movement led by Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian National Congress. Not only did he embrace the movement wholeheartedly, but also became an inspiration for freedom with his fierce devotion and zeal. With the slogan, it is blood alone that can pay the price of freedom. Give me blood and I will give you freedom. He started preparing the country. With such charisma of his philosophy and personality, Bose's popularity skyrocketed and he became Netaji to the general public. He joined the non-cooperation movement led by Mahatma Gandhi. During this movement, he was advised by Gandhiji to work with Chitranjan Das, who became his political guru. Further on, he became a youth educator and the commander of the Bengal Congress Volunteers. He also published the newspaper Swaraj. In 1927, after being released from prison, Bose became general secretary of the Congress party and worked with Jawaharlal Nehru towards independence. In 1939, Netaji won the presidential election to the Tripuri Congress session, defeating Dr. Sita Ramaya, who had been backed by Mahatma Gandhi and the Congress Working Committee. This led to the Tripuri crisis due to the ideological differences between Bose and the older leaders, which urged him to resign and form Forward Bloc, a left-wing party within Congress. The following year, he was arrested by the British for organizing a protest and put under house arrest in Kolkata. He escaped the arrest in a clever disguise and traveled out to in India. Heads of states of important countries stood by him, and Netaji lit the fire of struggle beyond India's shores. In Nazi Germany, he addressed Adolf Hitler and established the Free India Center in Berlin and created the Indian Legion of 4,500 Indian prisoners of war. With his remarkable leadership skills, poise, and ex exceptional oratory skills, Netaji founded the Indian National Army, INA, or the Azad Hind Force. In 1943, he gave the slogan Dilli Chalo with great fervor. Thousands of soldiers in the 60,000 strong army sacrificed their life for the country's independence. On August 18, the world, on August 18, 1945, the world mourned the death of Netaji Bose. He died in a plane crash while flying from Taiwan to Tokyo. His passing has inflicted a great wound on the nation that is felt to this day. In the grueling battle of freedom, Netaji Bose proved to be a loyal patriot, leader, and courageous warrior. A true visionary, son of dignified politician and freedom fighter. O beloved son of the motherland who bled for us and uplifted us, I salute you. Jai Hind. Ladies and gentlemen, our students of Delhi Public School, Bangla East, we, Ashriya and Melanie, are excited to announce that Edio TV has started a movement for higher education for all. We are proud to inform you that corporates and Indian private universities have joined this movement by offering scholarships to eligible schools across the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Gulf countries, and Africa. These scholarships are based on merit, sports, extracurricular activities, need-based, principles recommendation, Innovation by students, girl scholars, wards of defense personnel, daughters and sons of teachers, admission aspirants from remote places, South country aspirants, students who studied in war zones, single parent, students with more than two siblings, 
and students whose parents are not eligible for bank loans. This is a fantastic opportunity for many students and we are thrilled to see the positive impact it will have on their education. We urge other school corporates and universities to join this movement and support, support higher, higher education, education for all. Thank you. Thank you.